Downtown Austin became a colorful display of blues, reds, yellows, greens, and purples. Despite different colors, people stood as one. Signs signal the feeling of solidarity, reading, We shall overcome. No one should have to live in fear. Straits against hate. Positive social change in the future. Thousands of Austinites came together Saturday because of a crime that happened last Saturday. As I realized I was just attacked simply because I was gay. It's a crime many classify as hate. Four men attacked Matt Morgan and Emmanuel Winston because they are gay as they walked to their car at the Austin City Hall parking garage. The ordeal left them bloodied and bruised, at least on the outside. But as anyone can see by the number of people standing against hate, the incident did not leave them bruised on the inside. Today we all walk together along the same path that Emmanuel and I took last Friday. But today's walk has a new purpose. We walk so that we can feel safe again. This march is not just about what happened last Friday night. This is about us as a community. Our community is not just a gay community, but a community of acceptance. A community that is made up of our brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, friends, and co-workers who know us not as gay people or straight people, but as people. The men draw support from each other, but now it seems an entire town is giving them that same love. San Antonio's own gay softball league also showed up. Everyone bowed their heads in a moment of silence, and Police Chief Art Acevedo promised to do more to stop crimes like this. We're not going to stop until they're brought to justice. This woman decided to be here because she's been down this road before, too. I was just walking down the street, and three guys came up and just, you know, tried to break my face and almost succeeded. Although Morgan's friends already knew of his sexuality, the beating forced Winston to come out to a large number of friends, co-workers, and family. By publicly denouncing the acts of hate, I was not coming out of the closet, I was jumping out. But for me, the decision became clear. It was not about me anymore. I made the decision to speak out against attacks because I was fortunate enough to have the platform to speak out against hate where others did not. I was fortunate enough to have a voice to speak where others could not. And despite the attack and my injuries, I count myself blessed. The outcome of that night could have been drastically different. Love is bigger in Texas than hate, said the sign. Each of the victims know that from this sea of support for them will bring something positive. And they know their softball team is now more than that. All I really wanted to do was play softball with a team that became my second family. They stand behind me today, and I am indebted for their support and love. All I really wanted to do was play softball, so that I could be judged by how I perform, not who I am.